ay Miss Eunice. First of all, congratulations sa lahat ng mga students sa promoted this school year. Even though tapos na ang taon, I decided to still continue sa pagsishare ng videos about research. And today, I would like to share with you how to cite your sources using the APA style latest format which is the 7th edition. The APA or the American Psychological Association style is one of the most common citation style. Actually, dalawang common style sila. The MLA or the Modern Language Association which is used for humanities and literature works, specifically in English studies, language and literature, foreign languages, and literatures. While the APA is mostly used in social sciences and education fields. The APA format is the official style of the American Psychological Association. It originated in 1929 and their latest version is the 7th edition. The APA style regulates style and language, document format, in-text citations, and references. But this time, magfo-focus lang muna tayo sa in-text citations. Through in-text citations, we are able to credit ideas, texts, research, and media that have directly influenced our work. This is also very important para hindi tayo ma-accuse ng plagiarism or stealing another person's ideas or works. The usual format is the author date citation system. Sa site natin yung name ni author or authors and then yung date kung kailan na-publish ang kanilang work. It can be parenthetical na sa loob ng parenthesis yung name ni author at yung publishing year. For example, this is an example of a parenthetical in-text citation. Open parenthesis, caras, comma, 2020, close parenthesis, period. It can also be narrative. Si author ay part ng iyong writing. For example, Karas, the publishing year 2020 offered an example of a narrative in-text citation. We also need to cite our sources when we are paraphrasing. Paraphrasing states the ideas of another person in the author's own words. The format is also author date citation system. Also, remember that APA prioritizes paraphrasing over quoting. If you think na yung idea can really enrich your paper, better paraphrase than quote kung ano yung sinabi mismo ni author. This is an example of a paraphrased statement. Paraphrases allow the author to condense information and synthesize ideas from multiple sources. That is according to the American Psychological Association or APA in 2020. Also take note that whenever you are citing an acronym of an organization, the first time na i-mention mo siya sa iyong paper, dapat full name ni organization ang ilalagay mo. And then later on, pwedeng acronym na lang. Next is direct quotes or direct quoting. Ayaw natin na yung paper natin mapuno na lang ng quotation. So, just quotes sparingly, reserve quotes for vivid, impactful language. Kung ang isang thought ay sobrang ganda, you can just paraphrase it and you would like it to appear on your paper as exact as it has been delivered or said by the author, then quote it. For direct quotes of fewer than 40 words, use the author date citation system. Also, include a page number or other locator and incorporate the quote into the paragraph. For example, under parenthetical, there is a quotation in the beginning of the thought. A direct quotation reproduces words verbatim from another work. Then another quotation mark from APA 2020, page 270. Under narrative, according to the APA 2020, Quotation mark, a direct quotation reproduces words verbatim from another word. Quotation mark from page 270. You can do direct quoting by using the parenthetical or the narrative way. For quotes of 40 words or more, do not use quotation marks. Start the quotation on a new line indented 0.5 in from the left margin. For example, 
researchers have studied how people talk to themselves. Indented without quotation marks, inner speech is a paradoxical phenomenon. It is an experience that is essential to many people's everyday lives, and yet, on the subjective experience of inner speech and its cognitive and neural underpinnings. The author's name, Alderson Day and Ferry Ho, in 2015, page 957. For sources that are unpaginated, there's no page. Just provide a heading or section name, for example, Getch Silver and Tukong in 2015, osteoarthritis section, or provide a paragraph number, Chamberlain in 2014, paragraph 1. For audio and video sources, just provide a timestamp for the beginning of the material quoted. For example, Kasi 2021, 2 minutes and 12 seconds. For sources with multiple authors, specifically if there are one or two authors, then include the names of both authors in every index citation. For example, parenthetical, open parenthesis Jones and Kim, comma, 2019, close parenthesis. Narrative, Jones and Kim, and then the publishing year, 2019. If there are three or more authors, then include the name of only the first author plus et al or et alia, a Latin phrase which translates to and others in every citation. If it's parenthetical, then open parenthesis Jones et al period comma the year of publication 2019 close parenthesis. If it is narrative, then write the name of the author et al period then the year of publication, open and close parentheses, 2019. There are sources where the author is not indicated on the work itself. So when the author is unknown, just include the title and the year of the publication. For example, in parenthetical, the title or the name of the organization, Tech Seeds 2015, page 30, under narrative, it can also be cited as, in 2015, Tech Seeds reported, and then indicate the page, page 30. There are also sources where you can only find the name of the organization. Then place the name of the organization in year of publication. For example, the parenthetical Food and Drug Administration or FDA in 2012. If it's narrative, according to the Food and Drug Administration or FDA in 2012. As I've said earlier, you don't have to place the full name of the organization every time you cite it. You just have to place the full name the first time you mention it on your paper. And then the latter, you can just place the acronym. For two or more breaks in the same parenthetical reference, Place the citations in alphabetical order, separating them with semicolons. This happens when there are two or more references that you are using in one sentence upon paraphrasing. Here is the example. Though procedures differ across institutional contexts, a passive institutional framework. There, James and Graham in 2010 was cited first before Lindo et al. because it follows the alphabetical order. Also, as you can see, the two references were separated by a semicolon. Okay, so that's all about citing sources using the APA format, the latest version which is the 7th edition. Here are my references. And if you have questions, you can just type your questions freely on our comment section and I will try to answer them. Also, if you would like to suggest other topics about research or anything academic, I would be very glad so please let me know. Also, if you think this video has been helpful in your writing journey, then please like this video, subscribe Miss Eunice, and turn on your notification. That's all. Thank you for watching.